There are some MFA. I always like to say, Rachel, that MFA is better than no MFA, but there are different types of MFA. So yes. tell us what you think is the best MFA. Well, it depends on your threat model. Your threat model is all about the likelihood that you were to receive some sort of hack, like a fish or something to your email, phone, text message. If you're in the public eye, if you're an activist, a journalist, you're actively being um, harassed by somebody, then you definitely have an elevated threat model, or if you have admin access at a company that I want to get access to, then you have an elevated threat model too. Yeah. So if you do have that elevated access, you want to start moving towards a FIDO security key, and that makes it so that I have to be in person with you to hack you, and I'm not going to be doing that. I do it over the internet, phone, email, you know, those types of, types of things. Um, and so if you don't have a super elevated threat model, I would say something like app-based MFA is great. Even SMS two-factor prevents the majority of bot attacks. We know this from Google's research. So I would say make sure that you have some sort of two-factor turned on at least.